subtracting expressions vertically. To add expressions vertically, align the like terms and combine. Don't forget to bring the sign of the term with it. Find each sum by aligning the expressions vertically. So for the first one, we want to take the parentheses out. So we know we can do that by distributing a 1. So when we distribute that 1, we will get 4y minus 8 and then we want to align that 3y plus 2 right below it. Then all we have to do is add vertically. So 4y and 3y gives you 7y. And then negative 8 plus 2 gives you negative 6. Done. All right, the next one. We want to distribute that 1 again. Now if you notice for this one, the first set of parentheses has three terms, whereas the second set of parentheses only has two terms. So we just have to make sure that we align our terms in the proper positions. So when I distribute this positive 1, I'll just get 2w minus 8 here. But this 2w would go right underneath this negative 2w. And then that negative 8 would go underneath the 2 because it's a constant. So there is no y term here. Okay, so let's just add going vertically. So negative 2w plus 2w, that cancels out. We're left with nothing. Bring down the 5y. And then 2 minus 8 would give you negative 6. Okay, now to subtract expressions vertically, First, you want to rewrite the expression, making sure that you distribute the negative 1 to the second set of parentheses. Second, you want to align the like terms and combine. Don't forget to bring the sign of the term with it. Okay, so the first set of parentheses were fine. But now the second set of parentheses, we have to remember to distribute that negative 1. As we remember in previous lessons, distributing that negative 1 is taking the opposites of the terms on the inside. So this negative 2 x will become a positive 2x. And this negative 1 times positive 4, taking the opposite of that positive 4, would be negative 4. Then we can just vertically solve. So 7x plus 2x is 9x. And then positive 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Okay, next one. Again, notice here we have three terms in the first set of parentheses and only two in the second, so we have to make sure we align the parentheses or the like terms in the proper columns. First, we've got to distribute that negative 1. So we take the opposite, so it be negative 5x. Put that underneath the 2x because those are like terms. Then we have positive 2, but I'm taking the opposite because I'm multiplying by negative 1, which would be negative 2. I'm going to align that underneath my constant. And then I can just add them up. So 2x minus 5x will be negative 3x. 3y just comes on down because I am not combining with anything. There's no like term there. And then negative 4 minus 2 would be negative 6. So your final answer there would be negative 3x plus 3y minus 6.